Developed by Gilbert Raff, the Raff Regression Channel is a linear regression with evenly spaced trend lines above and below. The width of the channel is based on the high or low that is the furthest from the linear regression. The trend is up as long as prices rise within this channel. An uptrend reverses when price breaks below the channel extension. The trend is down as long as prices decline within the channel. Similarly, a downtrend reverses when price breaks above the channel extension. The RAF regression channel, or RRC, is based on a linear regression. Which is the least squares line of best fit for a price series? Linear regressions are easy to understand with a visual example. Chart on the screen shows the NASDAQ 100 ETF, or QQQQ, with the RAF regression channel in red. The middle line is the linear regression extending from the July closing low to the January closing high. Note that the linear regression is based on closing prices. This makes the linear regression the line of best fit for the closing prices from the July low to the January high. Next, the width is set by determining the high or low that is the furthest from the linear regression, which is early July to mid-January. In this case, the next day's low is the furthest and is used to set the lower channel trend line. The upper trend line is then set the same distance from the linear regression as the lower trend line. Chart on the screen shows an example of QQQQ in a downtrend. The RAF regression channel extends from the April, closing, high to the July, closing, low. The late June high defines the width of the channel because it is the furthest high or low from the linear regression. This means the lower trend line is set the same distance from the linear regression as the upper trend line. The RAF regression channel can be drawn to cover the existing trend and subsequently define the trend. Once established, extension lines can be drawn to identify the support, resistance or reversal points. An uptrend extends from the lowest closing low to the highest closing high for a move. A downtrend extends from the highest closing high to the lowest closing low. Keep in mind that closing prices are used when drawing the RAF regression channel, but intraday highs and lows are used to set the channel trend lines. Chart on the screen shows a stock with the RAF regression channel drawn from the July 2007 low to the September 2008 high, weekly closes. This covers the uptrend so far. Had the stock moved to a new closing high in October, the RAF regression channel would have extended to that high. Instead, the stock broke below the regression channel extension to reverse the uptrend. Notice that the lower trend line was extended to extrapolate the channel. Chart on the screen shows a stock with a downtrend extending from the October 2007 high to the November 2008 low. The RAF regression channel did not extend further because the stock traded flat and held above its November low into 2009. The red dotted line shows the channel extension of the regression channel top. The stock broke this extension in February to March to start an uptrend.